Meanwhile, Spring Hills mayor speaking out as thousands of workers at the GM plant in his city prepare for the call to strike. Mayor Jim Hageman said in a statement, quote, the GM plant has been a cornerstone of Spring Hill for decades and the UAW local 1853 members that allow that facility to thrive have been a mainstay in our community for just as long. End quote. And Tony Sloan's been following this all week long for us. And Tony, our local union members are actually still on the job this morning, but as we know, that could change. Yeah, that's right, Ben. It actually means that most of the thousands of workers at that plant in Spring Hill could walk out at any moment. Shortly after that deadline, overnight thousands of workers at three plants across the country kicked off a strike with signs in hand, calling for better wages. Workers at that Spring Hill plant took to social media, saying they support these members and they stand ready to answer the call to strike and walk off the job when they get word from their union. The UAW says the way this works is instead of striking all plants at once, select locals will be called on to walk out and those who are not called will keep working without a contract. Now, as time goes on, more will be called to join in on that strike. They say this gives them maximum leverage to fight and win a fair contract. So these demonstrations could be more widely seen, possibly even at that Spring Hill plant if automakers don't step in and make a deal. According to reports, the strike happened at certain plants to preserve the UAW's budget to support those who are not working. Now, it could quickly drain if all the workers across the country striked at once. That Spring Hill plant is one that GM has invested more than $3 billion in since 2013 for production. So we're talking about a big hit to automakers and the local economy if they join that strike. So far, the Spring Hill plant has not been called yet by the union, but of course we'll let you know if that changes.